first, let's talk about who you're applying against and what happens when you actually apply to a job. For example, if we're on LinkedIn applying for your standard help desk job, you may apply for that and you'll see a thousand plus applicants are applying to the same job. When you're applying against many different people with uh, different skills, whether it's less, less skills, more skills than what you have, you have to think about some of the certifications and the courses and the pathways you take, um, not only to not waste time, but also get the most, uh, I guess, bite for how much you're paying. Um, so for, we're going to go over some certifications that are industry standard that give you the most to put on a resume and some other ones that a lot of people will take before getting their help first help desk job. If you're someone who already has a help desk job and one th and thinking about getting certifications, usually if you have experience, that's usually enough to get at least an interview or some things like that to get noticed. Um, but getting certifications can also be helpful, even if you're in IT. But if you're def if you're starting in IT, I would definitely advise to have some sort of coursework certification project on your resume before you actually apply. One of these certifications will give you projects, the certification, and coursework. So stay tuned for that. So first, we're going to go over the most common, the most common IT help desk certification, which is going to be the CompTIA A plus certification. This certification is known by everybody pretty much in IT, all the hiring managers, everything like that. CompTIA has been around for a very long time, and the A plus alone has gotten over a million people certified in IT. So just think, over a million people have passed their A plus certification. So that is who you're going up against. So that is a lot of people that have the A plus on their resume. So just having the A plus alone is definitely a good look. It definitely puts you ahead of the people who don't have the A plus. But you're also competing against the million other people who also have their A plus. So you think you got to think when you're doing these certifications, you actually have to practice what you're learning, do projects, whether you get an inspiration for projects or the you do courses that have projects things like that. But the A plus is definitely a good starting point for some people. However, this next certification I'm going to mention teaches you some of the things you need to know for the A plus gives you projects and also gives you resume and cover letter. So the certification that I'm talking about is the course careers information technology certification. This certification is a relatively new certification. The certification course is made by Josh Matacor. Um, he's well known in the IT and cybersecurity space. He's been in cybersecurity for a relatively long time. This certification will pretty much teach you the basics of IT, give you a crash course of everything you need to know for a help desk job. Then the next module will teach or give you some projects to actually implement some of the things you've learned. And that module will actually have practical projects that will pretty much be what you do day to day, to day in help desk. Um, it has you making, making a ticketing system and actually dealing with tickets. Um, it has you making an Active Directory domain, troubleshooting computers, networking, hardware basics, things like that. A lot of different labs that will help you not only learn and obviously doing labs as you're learning is a great idea. So when you're done with the certification, you don't only just have the certification, you have the projects to put on your resume and they also help you make your resume and cover letter in their job hunt execution. They teach you how to apply for jobs, a strategy for applying a job. They also have things that you should do after you complete the certification course, whether you're getting in the help desk or trying to get into other fields. Um, they even have testimonials of people who have taken the certification, whether it takes them a month, two months, three months, and actually getting a uh, job post uh, getting the course career certification. So that certification is something I would strongly advise if you have absolutely nothing and you're trying to get into IT. Um, if you need uh, if you need to learn IT quick, definitely a good certification for people trying to get into IT. If you want fifty dollars off, the link is in the description down below for that. And along with that, you even get a free module. So if you don't even know if you want to take the certification yet, try the free module first to see if you what you think. And if you actually like it, go ahead and buy it. And then the rest is history. And a lot of people after taking the course career certification will take their A plus. So that could be how you do. You take the course careers, then the A plus. Now the next certification I'm gonna go over is something you should probably get after the CompTIA A plus exam or after the course career uh, certification if you don't want to uh, take the A plus. The CompTIA Network Plus is definitely something a lot of people look for in help desk jobs. That's probably the second most common uh, certification that you'll get in the job requirements. Um, the Network Plus goes over pretty much anything networking. It's a vendor neutral certification that goes over basic networking technologies, IP addressing, subnetting, things like that. Things you'll definitely do in the IT field. Knowing networking is pretty important. You'll definitely learn it one way or another, whether it's through actually working in help desk or taking a course. But you're either way, you're going to have to learn some networking because troubleshooting computers requires that. Um, so if you're someone who wants to know sort of the technical aspect of how data travels, the CompTIA Network Plus will definitely help you out. 
Um, that's a certification that I would advise for people post uh, course careers or the post A+. The last certification that I'm going to go over that uh, helps a lot of people get into help desk, um, not only help desk, but careers post help desk as well, because a lot of people don't usually get into help desk for very long, usually a year, two years, up to five years. Then they do a transfer into something like networking, cybersecurity, whatever it is, uh, system admin, things like that. The CCNA exam is something that's people kind of compare to the CompTIA Net Plus. But if you're someone who enjoys networking and not only that, uh, troubleshooting networking issues and actually applying networking uh, terminology configurations. Um, the CCNA is definitely a good pick because it has a lot of practical um, labs in it pretty much. So the CCNA uh, teaches you networking. So after it teaches you how to do networking, it has you configure networking devices. It can be really fun and also really frustrating if you're learning. But, um, but having the CCNA is a very good look for a lot of people um, who are hiring help desk. Uh, I guess if you're applying for help desk, it definitely catches the eye of the hiring managers because passing the CCNA, is a, it's a pretty hard exam compared to the CompTIA certification because it requires you to actually do configurations during the exam. So you can't just cram all these practice questions in your head and take the test. You actually have to learn how to configure things. So the CCNA is definitely a good look because it not only shows that you can learn the knowledge, but it also apply it as well in real world, real world scenarios where you have to actually configure networking equipment. So the CCNA is something that I would definitely advise if you're trying to impress HR and you also want to deepen uh, and you also want to uh, increase your networking knowledge. The CCNA is definitely a good pick. Uh, but those are the four certifications that I would advise if you're trying to get into IT help desk. If you have any other suggestions, comment down below. Or if you have any questions about the certifications that I mentioned, comment down below. Once again, thank you guys for 2,000 subscribers. That is absolutely insane. Um, I hope to hit 3,000 before the year is over. I'm not sure if we're going to do that yet, but um, I have big hopes that we can actually do that. Um, yeah, join the Discord down below if you haven't already. jamesz.tech slash Discord. Um, we have about 160 members and then we're trying to grow to 200. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. This is Jamesy Tech, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.